Welcome back, everybody. Woo! Um, we're on top of the world. It's time to go into the offseason, though. School budgets. Honestly, I'm very pleased with this. Our discipline was much better this last season. I like our training to be really rigorous. We're obviously recruiting very well no matter what. I'm going to keep it as is. Well, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to do that. That, sounds, that looks good. Okay. All right. I want you to stay. Sad. He's, uh... Sad. All right. Dennis Miller. Yeah! Mm. Alright, Parquet stays. Yeah! Alright. Lots of important people staying. Yes! Dennis Miller, you're an outlier! Sad. Look. We got two. Look at guys. Danny Carter and Adam Sussman both going on, moving on. Most 97, same recruiting class. Sad. Uh, Royal going, moving on, graduating. Justin Young, uh, unfortunately, he's going, but. Our offensive line should be pretty good next year. Joe Haynes, he can uh, he can misbehave elsewhere, but he he was good for us. Sean Brown, curious. Uh, McCarty apparently didn't want to go to the NFL yet. Huh. Anyway, Sean Brown, polarizing. He so many big plays he gave up. So many uh, rough moments, but man, this was his best season. And then Dennis Miller. All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we are. We've made it um, to recruiting, which is the most exciting and arduous part of the whole game. I'm going to put together a list. I'm going to introduce the players to you. And hopefully we'll be signing them in quick succession for you, but probably an hour for me. The time is not going to line up. Anyway, let's go hunting. Okay, well, we got some people here. Victor Robinson, number one wide receiver in the country. Why the hell not? And then we got Tommy Bain, great name. Josh Graham, okay name. We don't really need anything. We need a punter, but we're not going to recruit one out of principle. But we got a fast running back, so we got, we got good stuff going. We, and then, in season, Javon Parrish, Terry Cook, James Fowler, and uh, Gavin Sanders. So, you know, so we got 11 guys. We have 11 players, and it might grow because they left points. So uh, let's advance a week. Shall we? Holy shit, you guys. <clears throat> Three recruits. Josh Graham, blue chip. Look at that speed, though. Yeah, this guy. Um, Brandon Edwards. He's an athlete, but he's like... I don't know, offensive lineman? Great. Also, did I mention speed? Look at Tom Lee. Now back at me. Now back at Tom Lee. He's also 6 foot, 201, and a 416. Wow, wow. Did it. We got recruits. Alright, let's go fish some more. 
<clears throat> All right, guys. Okay, so we got ourselves a middle linebacker. We got ourselves a defensive end. We're doing very well for ourselves in recruiting. Um, decent speed for a uh, linebacker. Not the best, not the worst. Um, and uh, similar speed for a defensive end. That's pretty good. So, Grandstone, good pickups, good pickups. It. Let's finish this out. Let's get more. <clears throat> and how? Look at us. What a great off season we're having. Uh, just getting um, just about everybody we want to. Um, we got another running back. We got a blue chip defensive end. He's pretty good. We got Brian Davis, a corner, which is good. Oh God, so good. Okay. Nice. Another guy. Okay. I'm a little disappointed. I know what you're saying at home. But David, you got a blue chip guard from Canada. And a running back from Hawaii. Okay. That's not bad. But I was really going hard at some people I wasn't even on their list so anyway I bet you we have the best recruiting class in the nation put in your bets in the comments top classes I mean of course right seven five stars yeah I hate them so much they got to stop succeeding Florida State ah, Texas A&M mm-hmm uh-huh look at all these recruiting classes where's my favorite team they're below northwestern my favorite team is recruiting not as good as northwestern oh god oh. okay which is the irrelevant team which which is The worst recruiting class in the nation. Miami University. Still 15 players, not bad. And Southern Miss, West Virginia, and Idaho, West Virginia. And Idaho. Cool. Cool. Let's keep it going. Woo! Alright. Now, 85 players. We gotta cut so many people. And I know what you're thinking at home. Cut Evan Morris. Cut his jabroni ass. Dude, we have a quarterback here with a 94 speed. We're going to be running a legitimate two quarterback system. Latimer will be our starter. Somewhat. Morris is going to get a lot of play. We're going to run with him a lot. When running is all we need to do, Morris, he's going to... He's gonna, He's gonna, he's gonna be doing some stuff. We don't have bad backups. Skylar Tate is gonna be serviceable. James Fowler, uh, we're probably gonna redshirt. So, Latimer's gonna be the starter-ish. Evan Morris, the huge dude. Man, he can run. That's what I want as a quarterback. Yeah, it's fine. It's hard for me to find what's interesting in the offseason, but, again, I need to pick and choose to make sure these videos don't take too long, and editing doesn't take too long because uh, I'm not getting paid for this. Anyway, what we have as far as quarterbacks who did some training. Evan Morris made a jump, man. Plus five as a quarterback. He put in the work we want him to. Keep in mind, our starter is going to be Latimer. And the guy who's going to kind of be starting, but doing a lot of running, is Evan Morris. Look at the speed. Even his speed went up. But, yes, Evan Morris is going to get a lot of snaps. And Latimer is going to be there for, if we need to pass, Morris will not be passing. He was an athlete who was fast. He got through a quarterback for reasons. He's going to be running his ass off. 
halfback. Uh, the hardest working guys were Brian Morris, pretty good, good for him. Uh, Leon Stewart, pretty good. Barcott, I mean, I, he's all right. He, he did okay. Uh, he's a senior. He chose not to go to that NFL, which is fine. Nelson, the, the backup who fumbled a lot and kind of pushed to the back burners last season. So uh, hopefully he'll get some more play this season. Fullback, uh, J.D. Robinson, you saw him plenty. Um, he's slightly better as a player. Uh, he, did, he did well. And then Ed Brown. Now, what you'll be seeing in just a matter of moments, we have a new fullback. And he's going to get redshirted this year, but he's going to be good for future games. I'll show him to you. It's beautiful. Anyway. Wide receivers. Don't use them much, but Nate Robinson, big dude, great wide receiver. Willie Burrow, monster. You know, I don't expect a lot from my wide receivers, so they just kind of work. Ricky Sanders did a little bit of working. DJ Hansborough, all of them very tall. I don't know if you noticed what I like to do. Tight ends, we don't use them. Though John Pitts is 6'10, I didn't know that. Holy fuck. Can we use him anywhere? I think I'm gonna try and use John Pitts somewhere. He, what? Alright. Zach Lowe did well. I mean, we got 99 overall left tackle. Scott Causey, so we're, we're in good shape here. This guy. Good for him. He was a redshirt freshman. He worked his ass off in the offseason. Wow. You guys. A lot of breakthrough offensive linemen training. Our offensive line, both. We don't. Okay, we don't have a right tackle. It's fine. Left end, Ben Phillips, Steve Ingram, both good on the left end. The right end, we just have Brandon Simmons, pretty good. Defensive tackle, the guy with the name, Nick Blumenthal. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good too. McCarty went up the least, but he had the least to go because he's a 99 now. There are so many records I want to break with him. Now, 09 was not as good as 08, clearly. But, this is it, man. This is the year where I hope that he creates records that will never be broken by anybody. Besides that, Very pleased with them. AJ Schultz, a redshirt freshman, made the best improvement. Thank you. I love it when our young players. Oh, I love them so much. So, anyway. Mike Drew. Alright. Now, corners. We don't have any 99s anymore. A 99 overall for Jared. But still. I'm not making any sense of turns. Um, Steven Ramirez, Vince Benzo. Well, we got our, we, our defense is going to be great again. Alright, uh, I will see you guys when I start a new season. And I'll show off my uh, team. Actually, I'll, sh I'll, s I'll see you at depth chart. Keep it. Note it. Note it in your brain. Okay. Well, as I stated, our backup quarterback, in a literal sense, um, it's going to be Evan Morris. Evan Morris is our runner. He might put up more yards than Sussman. In Sussman's career, he ran for a lot of yards. I think Evan Morris might be the most prolific running quarterback we'll ever have at Oregon State. So, Latimer, for, for looks, starter. He's got composure. He's got what we need for those games that are rough, but 
when we break games wide open, Evan Morris is who we're going to give the ball to. Uh, he didn't go to the NFLs. Mr. Sam Parquet, he is here. He is stuff to take care of. As a senior, he has things to do. He wants to win a third national title as a Beaver. And we're going to try and get that for him. Nelson, the number two. It's been this way ever since uh, Thomas left. But these two are going to carry a lot of it. Um, I know. I think I'm going to be redshirting Tom Leak. Uh, and then Morris might get some touches. I don't know though. It's not looking good. Fullback, this is where I wanted to surprise all of you. I'm going to redshirt him now. I'm going to red. Uh, I'm, I'm going to redshirt the player that I'm going to show you. But uh, let's just go down one. You see J.D. Robinson, starting fullback. Excellent fullback. Ed Brown, successor, you'd think. And then Brandon Edwards. This guy was an athlete. I switched his positions. He's a 78 overall at fullback. Yeah, 68 speed's not great, but we're going to be running a fullback who's 6'7", 306 pounds here at Oregon State next season. And when I say next season, I don't mean this one, I mean the one after. This big dude is going to be carrying the rock. We're going to try and get him a bunch of touchdowns. <laughs> 6'7", 306, just throwing that out there. Wide receivers, we're a little thin. We need to do some wide receiver recruiting. Uh, we're down to just four roster wide receivers <laughs> because we don't throw the ball. But they're all huge. Uh, if you notice, Hansborough, uh, that's it, it's Hansborough. Sanders, Burrell, and Nate Robinson, all huge targets, all relatively quick. They're all there. Um, as we go back into it also, uh, John Pitts, we're going to try and use John Pitts. I don't know how, uh, but we want to use him. He's 6'10", 241. Now, we're going to do our best to use him. I don't know how. I haven't figured out how yet, uh, but I want to get him some touches as well. And then, our offensive line situation is pretty good. Uh, left tackle. Blindside blocker, Scott Causey, huge dude, 99 overall, so, so damn good. Left guard, Ricky Means, young dude, but pretty good. Everyone's really tall on this team, uh, really good. Uh, and then we got our center, Robert Grigsby, great name, amazing name. Mr. Robert will be a our center, and I am not shy to say that to anybody. Right guard, Tom Harris, also. Pretty good sophomore dude. God, we have such good offensive line play here at Oregon State. And then the right tackle, Brian Mack. Pretty decent. Um, junior redshirt, so most likely uh, we'll have another successful season, but like, we'll stick around and uh, more talent. Left end, Ooh, Steve Ing Ingraham. He's a tall, awesome dude. Junior, redshirt. 96 overall, not bad. I don't believe he's gotten uh, much play. Uh, or maybe he did last year and I just never saw him. Anyway, he's a monster. I look forward to him eating. Uh, right end will not be Brian Simmons. Uh, apologies. It'll definitely be Ben Phillips because he's just a better player overall. Defensive tackle, guy with the name, Nick Blumenthal. He's been a ghost tackle, it seems like, forever. We run a 3-3-5, so it's just him. It's just him to do the naughty stuff up front. We've got guys that are successors that are waiting in the wings that are also progressing, but he's our dude. Mm. He didn't go to the pros. I didn't have to talk him into staying because he bleeds black and orange. Uh, Alex McCarty. Still, I mean, since Sussman's gone, this, this is the legacy player. And if he says defensive captain, he is the school's captain. Alex McCarty is the captain of the entire team. Uh, there is no about that. I love him. He has done so much. I want him. My goal is for him to get 50 sacks in a career. That's our season goal. Uh, Mike Drew. Bad name. Good player. Uh, I hope he thrives. I hope he does good things. Let's see here. Do we even want Josh Graham, a true freshman? Oh, he's 90. We're doing it. You know what, guys? 
Josh Graham, 93 speed. This MFR is going to be our starting right. I don't care. I don't care. You're like, well, I'm just a stupid better player there. You, I could. Or this 93 speed could be on the field, and we thrive. We need speed. I coach speed. Oh, man. Um, corners. Uh, Jonas Foster. Love the name Jonas. Uh, his name is Jonas. 96 speed. Not bad. 94. Freddie Brown. 90 overall. Not bad. Both of them junior red shirts. Uh, 96 speed. And then we got a sophomore red shirt. Jared. The little slot covering dude. Jared. Um, 99 speed. I dig that. And then, uh, don't look now, but Brandon Poland uh, is filling their four spot as a strong safety. <sighs> Free safety. Vince Butler. Hell yeah. Great player. Big dude. We're not going to miss a beat in the safeties. Our safeties are just as good as they've always been. Kicker, Nick Houston. I know. When three, like two seasons ago, I was like, I'm gonna, I got two good kickers. I'm gonna play them both. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do that. Nick Houston's been great. I love Nick Houston. Um, Skip Skinner's the guy with the name, unfortunately, and he's gonna have a season to himself here in Corvallis. <laughs> See, I love Skip Skinner. That's such a good name. But Nick Houston's a better kicker, and I, uh, nah, that's just gonna be it. It's all. It always is gonna be Nick. So we didn't recruit a punter. So look at this guy, Michael Payne. <laughs> it's gonna be a pain to punt. But he's uh, no scholarship. He just joined. I'm not even sure he's a student. So it's fine. A kick return. You don't want to stick someone like Parquet out there, uh, if I'm being honest. So Jared Jansen, main recruit. Like he's gonna be. You know, to stick the speed. We don't want our running, like starting running back to get injured if we can help it. So that's it. Let's advance now to what the schedule is going to look like next season. Okay, so this was annoying, and I need you guys to know how annoyed I am. I couldn't make a schedule the way I wanted to. I had to play on certain weeks with no questions asked, and that made my heart hurt and angry. Ugh. So, yeah. So I made a schedule. We start at home against number 18, Florida. Pretty fine. Um, I anticipate us putting up a good fight winning that game. Then we're going to play at number, at, at, number three, Oklahoma. Let's have some fun, shall we? Open week. Then we open pack 10 play at Arizona State. Then we play Tennessee at home, number five, Tennessee at home. Then number six, USC at home. Then at number 15, UCLA, Stanford at home, Washington, Arizona on the road, Washington State at home, Oregon at home, sons of bitches. And then we couldn't not play the week 14. So I'm like, you know what? I remember as a kid, um, weirdly, like, not understanding schedules of college football teams. And somehow, after Michigan played Ohio State, they had a game at Hawaii, and I'm like, what? I mean, that's cool, they're playing Hawaii, and like, in Hawaii? That's pretty cool, but like, why? I thought that, I thought the Ohio State game was the last game of the season. It was not that year, and this particular time, Oregon is now how we close out the year. We play at Hawaii because tradition. But anyway, y'all, we've done it. We're going to keep the schedule. I'm going to redshirt players. It'll be fine. But take a look at McCarty, the team captain, the university captain. We've done it. We've made it to the end of uh, NCAA 06, season 5. And now, let's go check on how those Detroit Lions are doing. Go Beavs. What? Well, the Lions... Uh, did pretty well for themselves. Nice turnaround, bounce back season. Wow. Um, only three losses. One against the Vikings. We started off strong. One against the Vikings. One versus the Steelers. And one for the Ravens. All winning records, but we took care of business everywhere else. We won the Central or North. We won the North. The North? Is that what they're called? 
best record in the NFC as well. Well, the Vikings made it, as did we. Wow. Wow. So Charles Cook had a bit of a bounce back season. Our, our quarterback, we're doing a little better for himself. Sacked 37 times, what are you gonna do? Rushing. Um, wow, 921 yards rushing for him. Holy crap, good for him, buddy. Wow. <clears throat> Lots of passes to Roy Williams. <laughs> We did okay. Uh, we're in the playoffs now, which means there's that chance we could win a Super Bowl, because we've done that on this series. The Lions have won a Super Bowl. You were here, you saw it, you know it. All right, let's get through the wild card games. Texans, Chargers. Chargers move on. Rams at the Rams hosting the 49ers. 49ers, what wow. Patriots, Raymond. That's sad. The Ravens are one of the teams that beat us. Overtime, Panthers beat the Vikings. All right. Let's do these ones now. Ravens at Steelers. Rivalry game is right. Ravens win. Chargers at Colts. <clears throat> Colts move on. Giants lose to the Panthers, and then, woof. All right, cancel. We simulate, we don't. Division games we don't play, but if we make it to the NFC Championship game, I have to simulate it. Live. Sad. We lost, 23-20. All right. Conference championships, Colts, Ravens. Topical. Colts are going to the Super Bowl. Then Panthers. Panthers, Colts in the Super Bowl, eh? You know what? You do you guys. Super Bowl champion, Indianapolis Colts. Well done. Well, diggity done, you guys. AFC and see who wins it. The AFC wins the Pro Bowl. I would very much like to import a draft class. Thank you. Solid, solid income there, guys. We made a lot of money last year. Hell yeah. Apparently, Dick Vermeil's too old for this. Maybe golf is the game of the Cowboys coach. Maybe golf is also the game of Romeo Cornell. All right, fair. <clears throat> so what players are retiring that are of note? Lawyer Malloy is retiring. Brian Dawkins, retiring. Terrell Owens, retiring. Mm, Devin Maui, retiring. Mark Dixon, Mike Minter, Will Shields, Derek Mason. I don't know, any of these people? Doesn't matter. Let's check out who is retiring from our Detroit Lions. Steve Martin. Was a prop comic. I think both of these.
I think we're going to offer some stuff up for uh, <clears throat> the restricted for agents. I kind of want to keep both these guys. Resigned him. Nice. That was easy. No one wanted to. No one wanted to get in our face about a restricted free agent. Huh. Nah, Nick Nichols. We have our starting quarterback. Really, we don't need Nick Nichols. <coughs> huh. Maybe I don't need Kevin Jones. Sorry, Kevin. That's not. not I'm not really sure we need you. I'm not sure we need Charles Rogers either. Huh. Oh. You know, we might need to go out and either draft some corners or find someone. Like, Fernando Bryant's not coming back, right? Fernando Bryant doesn't want to play here anymore, so, like, eat my dick, Fernando. Can we trade him for something? Yeah, might as well get something out of him, right? What? Uh, you know, Fernando? Fernando! Oh, you're gone. Leave me alone. Oh, Kanoi Kennedy doesn't want to be here either. What if we were to apply the franchise tag? <laughs> you are Kanoi Kennedy. You have been franchise tagged. <laughs> no, no, you're you're a Detroit Lion. Eat my butthole. All right, rookie scouting it is. <clears throat> NFL draft time. NFL draft time. Who are the Jaguars gonna pick? Leroy Robinson from LSU. Okay. Danny Carter. Danny Carter is an Atlanta Falcon. That's fine. Danny Carter taken first. The first beaver off the board. Well, guys, a beaver is available to us. A corner, no less, which we were wanting, right? We lost a corner. So we need to sign corners again. So, uh, Sean Brown. Sean Brown is going to be a lion. Welcome. He dropped. He was supposed to go top 10. He's going 27. Second beaver off the board. Adam Sussman is a Baltimore Raven. Everybody. All right. Guys, we took some swings in free agency. We have a lot of cap room, which is actually great. Targets include Keith Bullock. He's a 95 overall right outside linebacker. Fingers crossed. Then we got Corey Simon, DT. Pretty, pretty good player. Then we threw a lot at Andre Nichols to be like a third wide receiver, but you know, depth is important. Um, also depth, Alan Gantz. More depth, BJ Sams, just to fill in roles. These are the rest of these at the bottom. We just, I expect to get the ones at the bottom here, but yeah. 
Advance one day. Well, hell yeah. Looks like we signed the good DT. All right, all right. Oh, we just cleaned house, guys. Only the bad people are left. Amazing. Oh, we got all of the really good players. The Lions in free agency. Oh man, what a what a good team we have going. <sighs> all right, I solved my problems. I was short a guard because one of mine was holding out. It's a thing. Uh, pocket presents. Mr. Cook. Time to cook. Ugh. Holy fuck, this is taking a long time to load. God damn it. Mm. Oh, I've been loading for like seven years. Oh no. That's not good. Not good. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. Okay, I've been trying. I've actually been trying quite hard. It appears to me that I can't do off-season training. As you see, it's loading. This is the second time I've tried this. I am not doing this a third time. Radio. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it not working? <clears throat> I lied right to your face. I tried it a third time. I wiped the disc off on my clean clothes. And I guess it worked out. So we're going to do these. Because I want to I wanna friggin' do these. I want my players to get better. Damn it. that oh dear sweet fuck oh all right we're gonna do our best I'm not good at video games there's no reason whoa damn it <clears throat> Bad time here now, guys. That's not good. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <clears throat> yeah, I got one point. It's better than zero. You know what? James White will do chase and tackle.
I'm not good at games, guys. Oh no. Hell yeah. Be excited, Mr. White. <clears throat> well, another beaver, rookie beaver, Mr. Brown. Gonna be our number one corner, hopefully, someday. He's our number two corner right now. God damn it. Yeah, pretty good, uh, well, we're still going. I'm so bad at this trench fight bullshit. Well, that's not good. Well, I appear to have uh, completely almost sabotaged my entire I'll take my two, thank you. Ground attack. Take a guess on who we're going to be using, huh? Jeff Thomas. There's no other person I'd be using. Jeff Timoney Thomas. Jeff Timoney Thomas. Damn it. Got it. God dang it. Oh, Jeff Thomas is not as fast as he needs to be in this game, unfortunately.
Woof. Oh, good broken tackle. Good job, Jeff. Dang it. Damn it! Oh, Jeffrey, go, go, go! Ugh. All right, can we do it? Did I do it? Did I take my chance? Woo! Got it, got gold. Hell yeah, Jeff Thomas, professional football player. And wide receivers, huh? I mean, Royal. Another, always got to control the beavers. I like a good beaver to control. You know what I mean, guys? That's what I'm going to do. Damn it. Good catch. Damn it! Oh, what are we doing? Why are you dropping all these passes, Royal? Oh, what <laughs> good? What? Damn it. I mean, I'm inclined to say that part of it's my fault, but he's dropped a lot of passes. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we've done it, guys. We've uh, we've arrived at the beginning of a new Lions season and the end of a complete series. The fifth version of it, anyway. I'll be back in season six with Oregon State. But this is it. The Lions overall are 89, 89, 88, and 86. We're gonna try and win the Super Bowl next year, too. But that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I think you should take care of yourself and you should just have a good one. Go Beeps. Go Lions. Be nice to people. Yeah. I gotta poop.